Hello and welcome to my eighth tutorial. I am Daganus from Skyrim Nexus and today we shall be going over nav meshing. Now nav meshing is a bit of a daunting task really, um, but without it, it it's imperative for your dungeon or in or whatever you're creating otherwise your companions will not enter it and if you have any 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 enemy NPCs within the dungeon uh, I do believe they'll just stand there and do nothing so what we need to do is add this this bit of data um, so it's fully compatible with companions and NPCs and the like so obviously as usual go to file data select skyrim.esm test dungeon ESP or whatever you have named it or whatever dungeon you're working on make it the active file press OK and yes to all that warnings may pop up now what we want to do is if we press M with, with the render window up once you've loaded everything up press M it gets rid of all your markers uh, so it's a bit more, more clean and can see more what you're doing now what we want to do is click in this void area just click there anywhere then go to nav mesh uh, do, do, do. Yeah, auto generate world space uh, it should come up with recast generation why isn't it Yeah, sorry, my bad. All right, what you want to do is click in the void and, pr and press Control E to bring up the nav mesh menu. And go back in the render window, click in the void, then go to the nav mesh options up the top. Go to generation and use recast base generation. That's the best out of the, the three or the four there. You can manually go in and do nav meshing if you want. It's entirely up to you. Now. Once we've got all these lists, the basic lists are fine just for a, um, a normal dungeon. Uh, you can go into more detail about it, and I might do a tu tutorial at a later date going into different sizes. But for now, just for this tutorial and small dungeons, you just need these basic ones. Now, when I press OK, it will obviously load the nav mesh. <coughs> Your uh, Skyrim kit creation kit may lag it may not respond or it may tab out to another window that's perfectly acceptable just let it do its business until it loads back in and it's also dependent on your computer specs I have a i7 core um, with 6 gigabyte RAM and a 64-bit operating system so my operating things tend to load quite quick as it has done here Uh, right now we've got all these red pieces this is where the computer uh, the game tells the companions and NPCs where they can and can't go so the red bits are where they can go and where there's no red bits that's where they can't go in that sense when it um, with stairs they usually always don't connect so I'll go over that shortly but first what we want to do is just get rid of um, the edges of the nav mesh that are just outside the map so you can just sort of left click and drag and it will just highlight a few and they'll go green just press delete and you just want to go off and generally just clear some some of the mess the reason you want to um, add nav, nav meshing after you've added objects is because the nav mesh then works around certain objects this bit up here so the idea is just to go through and either connect or delete pieces One, two three two three 
film uh so i just counting to myself uh yeah so we're just going to go through and delete all the pieces you don't need because you don't want your companion or an npc trying to run up a place that they wouldn't be able to You go ahead and do this throughout all your all, all of your dungeon, or you can manually um, put the nav meshes in. It's not as difficult as it sounds, but uh, there we go. Ideally, you just want to tidy up. It's not essential. You don't have to tidy the areas up, it's entirely up to you, but you don't want your companion or NPCs trying to get places where they're not supposed to. So it, it just makes it a little bit cleaner. Right. We don't want them in there either. If they get in there, they might get trapped. Then the game might get glitchy. Um, not sure why it's up there. Maybe it's because of the boulders, but get rid of that as well. As you can see, I mean, I've got a container here. And because I put that down, the nav mesh has worked around that as you can see here, otherwise it would have been a triangle from there to there or would, would have worked itself around the back. Ideally, you don't want your nav meshes going over objects um, like tables and chests because uh, your companions might try and stand on top of them, which is something you don't really want. And you just want to go ahead and clear the spaces you don't want your any NPCs or your companions going to. Right, now what we want to do, is let's say we're just going to delete this part. If you want to delete a part, you just select it so it's green, then obviously delete. Now you've got a big space here. <coughs> let's say you made a mistake or you want to add a triangle. All you need to do is hold down control then left click on the red squares if it will let you also what you need, you need all these three selected but actually for now because we're doing the vertices we want to unclick the edges and the triangles so hopefully yeah there we go so you've only so you want to go ahead and click on these red dots so it makes a triangle as you can see there and you just press a and it will fill in the space for you as you can see here I'm just going to do that bit again there drag that down drag that down now you want to connect these two faces same again with adding you just make sure the triangle the two sides all the sides are um, highlighted as it is here and just press A and they're all connected and obviously as you can see it's a bit high up so you, you just want to click on that vertice hold down Z left click hold then just lower until it until it's on the floor and just sort of drag it into place <laughs> 